Uh, well, we, we, you know, last one was a big game, but we still we got four big ones left, and uh, no bigger than this one versus Philly. So it's just a matter of uh, you know, going out there, expecting to play well, and um, see if we can, you know, make some plays and, and play our best football and go out there and see if we can get a win. Obviously, the last one was an embarrassment. Is that a revenge factor or just the situation being what it is? That's enough motivation. Yeah, just a situation that uh, you know, we're fighting, fighting uh, for the playoffs and the uh, division game, and it's Philly. So, uh, you know, that's that's big enough motivation. We just got to you know, know that we're going to have to you know, go in there and, and play well. They're, uh, they're, they're playing great football. And, uh, you know, we got to be our best. Last week was certainly an improvement, but what does the team have to improve on this week? Well, just just to uh, just finish on some things, being more consistent. I thought we did a good job of uh, making some big plays, and, and when we had opportunities, we took advantage of them and, and scored touchdowns. And, uh, you know, uh, when we got in the – Got in the red zone, and so those are those are some good things. We're gonna have to continue to do that. We're gonna have to, you know, hit the big plays, but then also finish things, and um, you know, just be there the best, and, and don't give them um, opportunities in, in good field position, and give them breaks and turnovers. You know, how much when a, when a big game approaches, do you say to yourself, "I've got to play big in this game"? You approach every game the same, and uh, you go out there and you prepare, and, and you try to you know, put your team in good situations, and, and you got to make plays. And but everybody's got to come together. Everybody's got to do their job, and uh, you, know, you, you you play and win as a team. And, and when um, you know when everybody comes together, and you know, that's offense, defense, special teams, and everybody plays uh, the way that we're we're capable of, then we'll be in good shape. How much does it stick with you that they've beaten a few times in 12 minutes? I haven't stuck with me at all. It does seem like it's always coming down to the Eagles and Giants, especially recently. What is it about these matchups and how big they are, the significance of them? Yeah, you know, every division game is going to be big, but you know, when you get into December and, and things are, are winding down and, and playoff spots are, are uh, you know, becoming an important factor, it, it's always going to be a big game. And, um, you know, we've seen you know, the NFC East always seems to be a tight race at the end and, you know, it's between you know, a couple teams and, uh, so these games are always important and and, uh, and big and and so um, you know, but this also needs you know this time of year needs to be when you're uh, you're playing your best football. Eli, since that first game when they beat you this season, how appreciably have the Eagles changed, if at all, on defense? Um, you know, and I don't know if they've changed a whole lot. They're they uh, they're, they're very talented defensively. They got a few new guys. Um, you know, with some injuries, they've been playing these last four weeks. So get you know, supposedly get some guys back this week. Um, you know, but they're they're just. Uh, they're very um, consistent. They're very physical. They get a good pass rush. They they do some some um, you know odd blitzes and stuff, but they're not doing uh, as much of it. I think as they've probably done in the past. So um, you know they're just uh, they're very sound and they got good defensive players and, and you know they cause a lot of turnovers on defensively. So we can, you gotta be uh, make sure it's important for us not to give them any breaks. What do you mean by uh, odd blitzes? Uh, just some you know, unique looks, different things that you don't see every week that you have to prepare for and. and uh, you know, try to get you, uh, you know, free hits on the quarterback. Eli, with Jim, Jim Johnson, he's the defensive coordinator. He was known to deliver early offense. No, no, no. Just a little bit less. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't have the exact numbers. It seems like uh, maybe a little bit less uh, pressure, but they still, I think they just kind of see what's working. And, um, you know, some of these last games they've had big leads, and so they haven't probably done it as much. Um, you know, just just not trying to give give up big plays in it. But they're always in a you know key situations, big plays in games. Um, you gotta expect that it's coming still. But uh, they do a good job of, of mixing things up and uh, showing blitz and backing out. And um, you know, so they're, they're they're a good team and, and uh, they're doing, they're playing well in defense. You know, it's been a streaky season for your team. Do you feel like you're playing your best ball and ready to play your best ball right now? I think we're ready. You know, we got to be ready. We got to expect that we're, you know, that we're going to go out there and, and play our best football, and um, you know, we, we're going to need that to, to go in there and get a win. Eli, you've had um, some success in December. Some games that I'm sure you'd like to have back. And overall, the numbers aren't what they are in the earlier months. Especially at home, what's what's so hard about Giant Stadium in the winter months? Uh, well, I see it gets cold, uh, it gets windy. Things are um, you know things are always going to be uh, more difficult to throw it than those those times, uh, those circumstances. So um, you know it's just now uh, it's about just finding completions, getting the ball moving, uh, moving the ball forward. You know, not getting stuck in a whole lot of third and long situations. So um, you know we, we just gotta we gotta keep fighting, find, find ways to get 
keep guys open, and I got to do a good job of getting them the ball. Eli, you were really rolling personally early in the season, and the team was rolling. Uh, I mean, is it as simple as how you go, the team goes, or is it beyond that? No, it's just everybody coming coming together. Is there, you know, uh, you know, both sides of the ball, and they got to play well and, and do their job. But you know, we, we build off each other. The momentum uh, comes from you know when the offense does well, defense gets turnovers, they get stops. They're, you know, just, the teams just got to uh, you know, expect to play great and go out there and do it. Like, why is your chemistry with Steve Smith developed so uh, well? So far this I think it's the third year together, and uh, he's a guy who works hard and has a great feel for what's going on. He's improved as a receiver, and, and you know we're moving around different spots. But he's just got a uh, he got a good knack for getting open, and, and he's playing great football right now. When a lot of people were, were questioning the receivers, did you know something like this was, was possible? I was hoping. I was hoping. Uh, I knew Steve was going to be fine. It's the third year, and, and a guy who uh, works hard, and uh, just knew we had to you know work with some of these young guys, get them going, and. Uh, I thought, um, you know, Mario's done a great, great job of stepping up. Akeem's uh, getting better each week and, and, you know, making some big plays for us. So we've got to keep doing those things. You know, if somebody walked in this locker room who's ever played an NFC East game before, just a new team actually, what, how would you describe what playing one of these divisional games is like, whether it's the, you know, any, any of the three that you're here to play the um, You know, they're just all, they're, they're all big games. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a situation where, uh, you know, not a lot of things change, you know, between these teams in the last couple of years. So, in some instances, you kind of know what's going on. It's just a matter of execution. And it all comes down to, uh, you know, taking advantage of, of opportunities and, and uh, you know, just execution and coming down to, you know, kind of guys winning the individual battles. And, and uh, you, know, you just got to expect it's going to come down to the fourth quarter. You expect, you know, nothing's going to come easy. It's going to come down. Um, you know, to those last couple of drives in the fourth quarter, and, and whoever plays the best in you know, usually don't win. Would you, know, you describe the Eagles as a hated rival? I, I don't. I don't describe anybody as a hated rival, but they are a rival, and uh, you know, it's always always important games and big games for us. And um, you, know, you just know it's going to be a tough contest, and uh, we, we got to you know we got to go out there and play our best. Kevin, you know, it seems that if you come off of Dallas when you did everything right, you don't want to give it back. So is it important to just you know keep that momentum going? Well, yeah, we got to use you know use the Dallas win as momentum, but um, you know we got to know every game is, is going to be different, and every game is going to have different ups and downs. So we just got to stay within ourselves and, and keep fighting, and, and um, you, know, you know whatever happens, whether you get a, a good start or you start slow, you just got to know you got to stay consistent. Don't give them don't give them uh, a big lead. Don't give them easy plays, and just uh, you know, go in there and battle. Kevin Booth stepped into a big role in this game. How do you think he did that? Well, Kevin played well. He stepped in and, and did, a, did a good job. Uh, he was a smart guy, so he knows what's going on and, and uh, did a good job protecting and in the run game. People often say he's a smart guy. How, how do you tell? How do you know? Just knowing what's going on. Just you know whether you put him at center or guard. He, he's just a guy who has a good grasp of what's you know, what's going on, what the offense is, and, and uh, you know, making making good decisions and doing the right things. Eli, when teams know each other as well as they do within the division, do you find that that plays out more, you know, in X's and O's because you're familiar with personnel, or is it more of kind of a mental thing? Like, which one does it have more impact on? Um, you know, I think just you know, when that happens, it just comes down to execution. You might have, you know, know what the guys doing. They might know what we're running and, and what our plays are. But you know, it just comes down to guys, everybody doing the right thing. The receivers being, you know, you know precise on the routes, uh, me throwing the ball on time. Uh, Lyman thinking, you know, the right techniques and fundamentals. So I think that's, you know, that ends up being the most important thing. So when you look, if I ask you to consider the last three games, which I know you don't, but is it just a matter of they've executed at times when opportunities better than you guys have, or, or is there a mental edge to, to them having a small winning streak over you guys? No, I don't think there's a mental edge. I think it's just, uh, you know, we know this is this is a new game and this is uh, a great chance for us to go in there and, and, and play well and, and get a win. Zero tips on. Um, um, when you obviously you got to prepare for this bad weather possibility somehow, but can you really do that? I mean, you. Know